Is this thing on? Is it working? I can't tell. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the numbers are moving. Oh, the numbers are moving. Oh, so we're good. We're good. Hi, everybody in Interwebland. I'm Sylvia. But you can call me Aunt Sylvia. So I was doing some social distancing today, and I was watching the Food Network. I was like, these bitches don't have anything on me. Oh, oh, I could say bitches because I'm a woman. So these bitches didn't have anything on me. I'm like, I'm going to do my own show. So welcome to my show. This is Cooking with Wine. And I'm your host, Aunt Sylvia. Thank you so much for joining me today. How's everybody doing? I'm just asking. Just asking. I'm so excited to do this show tonight because we're going to make some comfort food. Because everybody wants some comfort food tonight. And so we're going to make some chicken with white wine and herbs and garlic. Oh my God, I forgot the garlic. We're doing white wine and herbs and garlic chicken. So easy, so easy. You're going to love it. You're going to do it every freaking night. It's so good. Oh, mm. So I was doing the social distancing, but I wasn't social distancing from my wine. Not my Chardonnay, my sweet, 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 sweet Chardonnay. Anyway, let me set things up, but I'll be back with you in just a moment, okay? Okay, I'm back. I was doing my mise en place. Let's see that too. It's a big French word. Mise en place. Just means get your shit in order before you start cooking. That's what I was doing. So we're making some comfort food, some really easy comfort food. Speak, speaking of easy, Aunt Sylvia kind of needs a man. Is there any... Any young strapping men out there that want to come keep Aunt Sylvia some company? Just asking. Just asking. Anybody else been on Pornhub a lot this last week? Yeah. Just asking. Just asking. Oh, anyway. Uh, anyway, so we're going to do a garlic herb white wine chicken with taters, with potatoes. Oh, I forgot the potatoes. Yeah, so we're doing... Garlic, white wine and herb, chicken and potatoes, all in one pan. So easy. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So what I got here, I got here, um, so I got my potatoes and I've washed them and uh, we're going to put them back over here. We got the potatoes and then I've just been marinating my chicken uh, in just some herbs. Uh, we're using chicken thighs today because they're so good. So we're going chicken thighs with a little olive oil and herbs. That's all we did. A little bit of white wine, but that's about it. You know, just just I've been marinating for just a bit. So what we gotta do first is we gotta we gotta cut the taters into wedges. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this knife to cut the potatoes uh, into into wedges. So give me one second. We're gonna do it over here. Just take the taters out, and then you just sort of start. Oh, ow, ooh, oh shit. That's not good. That's going to hurt tomorrow. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. It's just a little, little happy accident. They happen. It's okay. Probably should go to the emergency room tomorrow, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it, it might heal. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. So anyway, I've cut the potatoes, and we're about to start cooking. So I'm gonna bring the camera over here and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. We're gonna start by just sauteing some, some garlic. Now I'm gonna show you this amazing tool. Oh my God, I gotta show you this tool that I'm gonna show you right now. It's called the world's greatest garlic press. And because it's suppressed on one side over here, but on this side, it slices. So watch, it's awesome. You just take the garlic clove you put it right in there and you sort of push it right through and oh my god you got sliced garlic oh my god it's the best it's my favorite tool in the kitchen you can get this at getmeinthekitchen.com just so you know getmeinthekitchen.com you can get the world's greatest garlic press anyway so we're going to use the garlic and um 
I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do right now. So give me one second, okay? So I'm just heating the oil up right now. We're using some grape seed oil. Uh, and I've got my garlic right here. Oh, there's, there's the shot. Right here, there's the garlic. You see all the garlic sliced up and delicious. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sort of pour the garlic right in. Oh yeah, just pour it right in there. The heat, the oil heated up. And we're gonna just do some sauteing a little bit. Get that oil in there, that oil flavor with the garlic. It's, it's gonna be so good. I'm so, so, so excited about it. And we're just gonna let it sort of uh, saute a bit. And then we'll be back in one second. And so now the garlic's been just sauteing for just a little bit. We're gonna put the potatoes in there. Those nice potato wedges. Oh yeah. And don't worry if the garlic burns a little bit. It will it will work itself out when you when you when you put it in the oven later on. So anyway, you put the potatoes in there. Just make some room for the chicken, but just sort of keep the potatoes right there. Let them sort of uh, crisp a little bit, a little bit brown in there, and they're gonna be awesome. So I'm putting the chicken in there. We're just gonna put it this side down. So it gets nice and brown and crispy. And we're gonna flip it over in a little bit. So we put the chicken skin side down and we let it just sort of brown a little bit. And then we flip it over real nice. Nice like that. And so we're just gonna let it fry for a little bit on, on the bottom side. Just about two minutes or so. And while it does that, you can always certainly have a drink of wine what I'm going to do right now. Oh my god, it's smelling so good. I'm just going to throw some carrots in there, because I like carrots. Carrots are really nice. And then we're going to put some of this some of this herb in there. Here's the herbs. Oh, I can see it now. Like, these are just a little sage, rosemary, some basil, and some uh, uh, thyme. You can throw the thyme in there too, but I think thyme tastes like shit, so I just put a little bit in there. And then we're gonna put some wine in there, some white wine. Oh yes, good white wine. So a little bit for you, and a little bit for me. Yeah, so let me just get it in there. It looks so good, oh my god. This stuff is so good. And I just put it directly in the oven at 400 degrees. And I'm just going to close the oven. Yeah. And we're going to put it in there for about 35 to 40 minutes. So while it's cooking, I thought I'd impart a little knowledge upon you. People are always asking me, hey, Aunt Sylvia, what kind of wine should I cook with? And so I always tell them, I would say, hey, there's like an adage. It's a little adage. It says, you should only cook with wine that you like to drink. And I sort of like to add to that a little bit and say, fuck that shit. Unless your taste buds are as refined as the love child between Gordon Ramsay and Martha Stewart, you ain't gonna notice shit. Just cook with crappy, crappy, crap. That $2 bottle of wine from freaking Aldi or whatever the hell it is. Just, yeah, just throw that shit in there. It's all good. Yeah. Oh, did you see my drinking buddy? Oh my God, did you see this? This is Blake. See, Blake has a really cute little ass. His name is Blake. He's his drinking buddy. He just sits there and does his pole dancing in the bottom of my wine glass. It's so awesome. I got this at getmeinthekitchen.com also. You could, you should get that. Oh, it's it smells so good in here. I can't wait. I can't wait to eat this stuff. We'll be back in just a bit. so good. Oh, let's get it out of the oven. Let's get this deliciousness out of this oven. Oh my god. Always use hand mitts when you're doing this. 
check it out. Oh my god. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Oh my god. Oh, you can't see. Let me show you. Let me bring the camera closer. Oh my god. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh, it looks so good. I'm so happy. It smells so good. I just want to thank you all for joining me tonight. It's been such, such a pleasure having you in my kitchen. This has been Cooking with Wine, and I'm Aunt Sylvia. Oh, next time. Oh, my God. We're going to make buffalo chicken rangoon. Oh, it's going to be so good. Everybody say goodbye to Blake. Bye-bye, Blake. Say goodbye, Blake. We'll see you guys next time. Everybody have a good time? Just asking. Just asking. I'm going to go sleepy, bye.